Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. A little different project for us today. A little plumbing project. We've got a double sink here. Dispose all on the left. And the problem was the dishwasher was never draining completely. And there would be water collecting in the bottom of the dishwasher and it would start to smell really bad. So we actually got over here yesterday and found the problem. We got the materials we need to fix the problem, and now we're back today, and let's, let's get under here and I'll show you what we found. So the first thing I noticed was this. Uh, I, I just wish they wouldn't sell these. There's no need for this type of fitting, and I'm gonna show you why here in a minute. And the second thing I noticed was they connected the dishwasher drain to this T, and they made things a lot more complicated. They could have just connected it right here on the disposal, and it would make things a lot easier. And that's what we're going to do. Now, I know people who won't connect this to here because they say that the detergents from the dishwasher corrode or dispose all. And they won't run their dishwasher through there. But doing it this way just makes life way more complicated. And this is fine. I can put my finger in here. And the knock, there's a knockout plug in there. So we're going to knock that out. And we're going to just put this hose there and we're going to redo all this. And for aesthetic purposes, I feel like it makes it a lot less cluttered in here. Yep. Yep. We'll, as get, well. The, we'll get this hose and yeah. we'll tuck it up up here. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I noticed was this fitting up here. Can you see right here where the, the pipe's been cut? Yeah. So this fitting off the basket strainer is called a tailpiece. And it's actually telescoping inside of this, which I think is a coupling, and they cut the other end of the coupling off. Uh, so we're going to completely take everything off from here to the basket strainer to the trap adapter and completely redo it. So let's get started. All right, this is all inch and a half diameter. That's what you use for kitchen sinks. So we got a new tailpiece that attaches to the basket strainer. What's that? This is your basket strainer right here. And how do you know the difference? Between this, this side? The disposal and the basket strainer. Well, your disposal is going to hang off of this part, which comes with a disposal. Mm -hmm. And then your outlet is horizontal. Sure. And then the basket strainer is this. Um, and then the tailpiece attaches right there. Okay. Uh, they call it a basket strainer because you should have a little... Uh, basket that goes in there to catch food yep but this is standard kitchen sinks all have this size and sometimes this is plastic this one's uh, stainless steel but that's fine we can make it we'll make it work cool and then I have uh, a new paint drop and then we got this it's a, uh, a double bowl sink and garbage disposal end outlet waste. We'll show you how this works. And then I bought an extension just in case. I don't want to run back to the store. And then this fitting will adapt the dishwasher drain hose to the disposal. Uh, you'll notice there's two hose clamps. If you come down here real quick, there's just one. <laughs> oh man, they didn't even put the second one on. Nope, never did. <laughs> so this is this should just pull right out. Yep, see it coming out? Yep. Yep. And uh, so let's take all this out of here. Cool. We'll get the water out of here first. I'm gonna take this trap off and I'll show you what the problem was. So here's the trap we took off. And this wall, this is called a wall tube. The wall tube that came with the new P-trap, it's the same as this one. But can you see here? Now that just goes inside. Yeah, kind of loose. Yeah, but then this one, there's a, a mated surface for this bevel to seal against. Hmm. Can you see that? Yeah. So this bevel mates against this bevel and seals it. They didn't have that on here. Oh man. So what they did, they wrapped Teflon tape around here and we actually kept it. 
Ugh. That was all over the end of that. And they essentially blocked, I'm going to say, at least half, probably more of the flow. So when that dishwasher pump came on, there was no way for the water to get through there. So we actually put it back together without that, and it's draining fine. But let's keep taking this apart. And this is just clean, it's just kitchen sink water. I'm not, I'm not squeamish about it, but if you are, just get yourself a pair of gloves. And there's a wall tube. Nothing wrong with that one, but we're gonna, we're just gonna start over. There's that. All right, why don't we put this on first and get it out of our way? Sure. All right, see this? That's the inlet for the dishwasher drain. And there's a plug in there that's, that's cast as part of the body of the disposal when they make it. So we're, we're gonna get a screwdriver in there. I'm gonna tap it with a hammer. And we're gonna knock that plug out. It's that easy. And then you just gotta be sure to get, get in there. I'm gonna let Jordan do it and get the plug out of there. All right. It's just a little round disc of metal. You don't want to turn your disposal on with that in there. That's what it looks like. So I had a plumber once who forgot to knock that out. And when the dishwasher went into the drain cycle, it was like that water hit a wall and just... Oh, man. We had to come back and fix it. So I, I want... I don't want the smaller diameter, so I'm just going to cut that off with my buzz saw. And those are made to be cut off, too. Yep. So we'll cut this off. This one while it's sure. on the ground, so to speak. There should be plenty. Okay, that's it. All right. Now we're going to get the tailpiece. A lot of times I'll just buy a 12 inch one instead of getting the six and it possibly being too short. But I knew in this case that this would be fine. And this one's a little different than the ones I'm used to. Normally the, the nut is separate and this has a flange on the top. Similar to that flange. And then there's a washer there. And that was another thing we noticed on this one. There was no washer between this tailpiece and, and uh, this basket strainer. So this will just screw right on there. And this is all just hand tight if you're, I mean, I'm used to it. I kind of know where to stop, but if you're not, or if you're not, don't have hands that'll fit, just get some channel locks and just snug it up. Just like that. Cool. Just like that. It's called a bevel washer. It goes in that direction. So that mimics the bevel on here. Same thing. Sure. So I'm bottomed out right here, but I'm not high enough. So we're gonna measure how much to cut off and we'll cut it off the tailpiece. And then we'll use this short one. We won't use this long one. They give you two, so a longer one, you know, if these were farther apart, you could use the longer one, but we won't need that. So I'm gonna put it up here. So let me go grab a tape measure. All right. I'm just going from the center of this to the center of that. I'm saying one and three quarter. Yep. So we're gonna cut one and three quarters off the end of this tailpiece. 
Now, I know we talked about earlier that they had cut a piece of pipe over here, and this is it. See, the, see where they cut it? Yep. And the reason they cut it was because this T that they bought was designed to screw on to the basket strainer, just like the tailpiece we bought. But that wouldn't have worked. It had to come way down here to accommodate the disposal. So I think that's a coupling, and they just cut the top off the coupling and just made a slip fit. And they just shoved it inside, huh? Yep. Sure, we got our washer. Is that it? That's the the this flange. Is the disposal. Yeah. It's this one. It's flatter. Right, see how it lines up. There. Boom. Let's see how we're gonna do this. We gotta put this on first. You have to cut that? No, it'll telescope inside. Oh, okay. Should. Yep. Cool. So we got our flange to connect to the disposal. I'm gonna put our nut that direction and the bevel washer that direction. And that bevel washer is what's it's sealing gonna it. seal right here. Yep. yep. So all that'll go in. Turn it. Slide it out. Two screws started. There's one. There's two. We'll get that started. Not tight yet, just snug. Let's tighten these. tube and our p-trap goes like that now some people will put plumber's putty or uh, pipe dope here and I will also sometimes but I'm gonna see how this holds you should never need a sealant here it's designed for those two surfaces to mate together and be leak proof but if you ever spend six hours on the 405 in Los Angeles going to change a leaky faucet, a drain, because you didn't do that, you kind of start doing that. <laughs> yeah, it'd have been short anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're so now we're short here. So that's why I bought this extension. Yeah, I feel like you should just have those. Like, yep. it should just be part of it. Just buy one uh -huh. for two bucks. Yeah, That'll save you a trip to the store. Yep. it's always annoying. Yep. And they do make um, longer ones too, so. Yeah, I said before, I don't, uh, I like buying a long tail piece to avoid having one of these on top, but we, it's unavoidable here. Yeah. So we won't even have to cut it. I should have one more. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and this on. That goes in the trap adapter back here. So we got that made up. It's gonna go in the trap adapter into the wall. Got our P-trap and our extension. Let me go ahead and take this and loosen this. Get this out of our way. That's from the old disposal, right? Now go there. Okay, so all the nuts are started. Everything, yeah, it looks really, it yeah. looks great. Yeah, so these are called slip joint nuts. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, which is, it's a lot, yeah. but you can't avoid these three. You can't avoid this one. We needed the extension. We needed the extension, so we'll be fine. And they give you these lugs on them. 
I'm just gonna go hand tight and we'll give it a, a test. Okay. While that's running, I'm gonna start the dishwasher. And then we'll be able to test the dishwasher drain here in a second. All dry. I always like to use a stopper and give it a real good flow test. So I think we're good. Yep. So we have this washer left over, but that's fine. This is in case you're going to hook up a bathroom sink and you have an inch and a quarter tailpiece. Kitchen sinks, the tailpiece, remember, is inch and a half. And on a bathroom sink, it's inch and a quarter. So we can just save that. And this is the part that was left over from the, uh, right here, the, the GD2. We chose the short one, so that's extra. So we, we, did, we did really well. Yeah. All right, let me pull this, Jordan, and we'll see. All right. See how it drains? Yeah. All right. Got lucky, no, no leaks. And it's done. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to, we're just going to cancel this. We're full of water. We started it, so there's water down here. Now we're gonna hold this for three seconds and it'll drain. Hear the pump come on? Yep. Yeah, yeah. You can hear it. Yeah, so it's going through. It's coming out here. Hose. Yep. In the disposal. And down there. You can actually see it in here. Oh yeah. Well, it's 100% draining. So we tested both sides of the sink. And uh, earlier when Jordan had his hand in here, you don't have to be concerned about cutting your hand on a sharp blade and a disposal. Um, there are blades in there, but all they do is sling the food out against a perforated collar and the food goes through those collars. So, but you gotta get this out of there. We're in good shape underneath. Looks a lot better. It's draining well, no leaks. This was about $25 worth of parts from the big box store. When you go there, you know, you're faced with almost a wall full of these parts. And usually they're separated into inch and a half and inch and a quarter. Again, this is all inch and a half. This is what we use to hook up this sink. Obviously you're gonna have a P-trap. The wall tube comes with the P-trap. That's this part right here, from here to here. We bought the extension. We got a T that's made for disposal. They make T's that have a nut right here. You can do what you want over here. If you had just a sink with no disposal, and then the tailpiece. Uh, there's a lot more fittings at the store, but this is what we needed. So if you have a similar situation, a dishwasher not draining, sink draining slowly, you get to the point where you have to change your drains, that's about all there is to it. And we didn't have many tools, did we, Jordan? Nope. Um, the craziest tool that we used was the multi-tool, but you can yeah, easily do that with a, a hacksaw. With a saw, or, sure. Or even a, a wood saw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's how we did that. Um, what we did, we actually took a picture of the under the sink before we took everything apart. And then we had that at the store. Had a very nice gentleman offer to help us. We kind of knew what we wanted. But if you don't, if you have a picture you can show them, that would be a great idea. Yep. That way you're not trying to describe it. So try it yourself. Do it yourself. That's what we're all about here. Yeah. It looks intimidating. Yep. And can definitely feel intimidating if you don't do this all the time. Yeah, especially in the plumbing aisle. You know, you walk down there, it's just like, what in the world? Yeah. Um, so hope you learned something. Hope you liked it. So be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you on the next one. Yes, sir.